Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for August 16, 2011. The NASDAQ one-month chart. Uh, we got a three and a four minimum. Um, this retracement from the lows of 23, uh, 25 to, to the close of around 25.60, the NASDAQ was a little bit over 0 0.382. 0 0.382 is around uh, 25.30 in the NASDAQ. And it retraced, and I'll, the crash wave is basically over, and because this is the fourth wave. And uh, it retraced 0.382 of the third wave, which is, a, which is a really good sign, which means that the next boom could be a fifth down or an upward two. Best case scenario is that we get an upper two to as high as uh, 2675 or 2700 this week. Worst case scenario is we get a fifth wave down to test uh, 2325. Right now, the futures are flat as of uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and um, there isn't a big move in either direction right now. If this is a nice, mellow, gradual move up again, then um, it could probably melt up to, uh, to the 2700 target, the NASDAQ this week. But if there's a big gap down, it would test 2325. Right now it's 50 50. Just, I don't know how this is going to end up because this is, a, this is a fourth wave and a fifth wave pop off. Uh, either it's a fourth wave or an upper two or a fifth wave. If this is a third wave, I'll give you a, I'll give you a def, uh, definitive answer because third waves are easy to read. You, you know when a third wave's coming. But when it comes to fourth and fifth waves, I can't give a definitive answer yet. But 50 50 chance that fifth wave or upper two. And the target is 2700 or 2325. Press the P. I know you guys want me to say up or down, but I'm 50. this is a 50-50 chart, so I, I can give you both targets down the direction. Anyway, uh, S&P retraced <clears throat> at least 0.382 of the downward three. So the crash wave is over, and uh, this could be a fourth wave or an upward two. Uh, we closed above uh, 0.382, which is around 1195 to 1200. And the highest target I have for number two is as high as twelve sixty, which would retrace 0.618 of the of of the crash wave. But if it turns turns into a fifth wave down, it could test uh, eleven oh five. It's fifty fifty right now, but I'm actually leaning a little bit towards the bullish side because of how many puts there are versus the calls this week. There's a ton ton of uh, puts going all the way up to uh, at least one twenty four to one twenty six. So that alone could help push the market up um, to the. 1260 target in the S&P. The Dow. I mean, if you look at the the three month chart in the indices, like for the Dow, let me show the Dow. It almost looks clear cut. Looks like uh, I I would call it a two, but it it went a little bit above the the previous one. So, but if this is a one two three, this would be a four, and it looks pretty clear cut. Let me look, look at the NASDAQ. Looks like one, two, three, four, and then a five. If you look at the Elliott, um, if you go strict Elliott wave. But, like I said, in the past um, year, we've had fifth waves. We had, uh, we've had one, two, three with no fifth waves or fourth waves. So you can't really rely on this as being a four and a five. And as, as is always the case for me, I don't trust fourth waves or fifth waves. I just watch them roll by, and then and then I buy whatever um, becomes more clear. If there's a clear cut direction, then um, in S P it could <clears throat> to the upside it could could be twenty seven hundred, to the downside it could test uh, twenty three twenty three twenty five. Then excuse me, the Nasdaq. So um, I want to give a definitive answer, but all I know is the crash wave is over. So don't expect another crash. This thing is over. And that's a good sign, and uh, um, because we got a fourth wave, so crash wave is over. So don't expect another crash. That's a wrap.